so here, we're here with Rob and Allison. They're from the Missoula Aging Services. They promote the dignity, independence, and health of aging adults and those who care for them. I yeah, say it so lot. you guys don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are talking about Giving Trees. And the Giving Trees is a great program that helps uh, utilize many different organizations across town for people to donate money to many of your organizations that helps uh, various uh, forms of Missouri Aging Services, like Meals on Wheels program is a great program. Could you guys talk a little bit more about uh, the need for uh, Giving Trees? Sure. So um, Giving Trees is our kind of annual holiday um, this year, and it's virtual again this year due to COVID. Um, but basically, you know, we're asking for donations from the public to help uh, with, like you said, our many services. You know, no, no, no amounts too small. So it could be $8 to provide, you know, a hot and meal for our Meals on Wheels program to $20 for a gas gift card or a grocery gift card. So it's a, you know, just a, that giving time of year and it's important, um, you know, to help support our agency for mission. So could you tell us a little bit more about, uh, you know, community and the services uh, needed? Sure. Um, so the obvious one that everybody knows about is our meals program. Yeah. It's our flagship. And not only is it an important piece for getting uh, people some warm and nutritious meals, it also gives people a check-in uh, four times a week basis, uh, somebody that they can smiling face, that connection. Uh, and also, you know, really is an intake to our agency. We, every time somebody comes into Meals on Wheels, we do a home assessment with them. We often find out there's other ways that we can be supporting them, whether it's respite or homemaking or even just a, a, a look at what they're spending their money on and how we might be able to save them. Yeah, because one of the major things is that uh, Missouri Agent Services is great for a lot of seniors or people who are just in host retirement uh, right. looking for something to do. I always see there, there's a lot of... Uh, of uh, tight-knit volunteer staff working for the Meals on Wheels programs. You also have a great uh, kind of tutoring program with we do. seniors as well. Yeah, we actually are the largest uh, volunteer program in Western. Wow. Uh, most time, pre-COVID anyway, I can say this, we would run between four and 500 volunteers. Uh, meals on Wheels, of course, 100 and 110 volunteers right now, uh, delivering meals four days a week, 19 routes. So each one of those routes takes a volunteer to drive them uh, and that. We also have the RSVP tutor program, foster grandparent programs that work in the schools that uh, take care of helping people, mostly with math, reading, uh, science, what their focus is supposed to be. But a lot of times it's just somebody to, to uh, be that person, an older adult for them to know and to act. So, real important program. And uh, the, many of those programs are online as well. So like you said, that there's a virtual COVID. Uh, I mean, virtual because of COVID. <laughs> Correct. We don't want virtual COVID. Yeah, I want virtual now. COVID now. No. But... Uh, the, Go to the missoulaagingservices.org. You can look at all giving trees and look at all the uh, volunteer opportunities that, they're, that, they, that they have at the Missoula Agency. So uh, tell us a little bit more about, uh, let's talk a little bit more about the holiday season because the holiday season, you know, it, in terms of people who are especially homebound and living alone and even even COVID times, it can be very difficult to really have that kind of human connection. So we talk a little bit more about how important a lot of these programs are. Sure. So um, I can take and so one of the uh, great new programs that we started is called Life Experience. Um, and this is a program where we um, give tablets to uh, older adults um, and provide them with training, too. Um, so then they can connect with family, friends, um, and especially telehealth. Um, you know, with COVID, you know, yeah. might not be able to go to the doctor or you don't want to go. Um, the telehealth is a huge, a huge piece of that to them stay healthy in their homes. Um, and we've had over 55 people complete the training or get their tablets, oh, okay. um, which is great so far. And we've had even a few people return their original tablets because either they wanted to upgrade or their family wanted to upgrade them because they got so good at using, um, using the technology. So that's um, something that's been a, a great new program that we, you know, implemented because of my campaign and a lot of great thanks to donors and support. Yeah, my 93-year-old grandma figured out how to use an iPad. It's, yes, yeah. it's very. It's the it's the it's the idea of like using a mouse because using a mouse like oh put the cursor on the screen people put their mouse on the screen mm -hmm. and then with the iPad it's like you touch something on the screen something happens it's like oh that makes sense mm -hmm. so a lot of so a lot of people are able to get into that and I think that's sure. a great uh, uh, service that you guys yeah. are offering yeah well. and they just you know uh, it's not that they couldn't use the technology they just need a little help um, you know to navigate it so we're happy to provide provide. So last thing, um, uh, tell folks about, you know, where and how they can get in contact. Sure. So you can either call us. We're a one-number agency, so 728-7682. So 
you'll get our live call center five days a week from eight to five. Also, missoulaagingservices.org, you can find us there. And on the website, if you can find and find one of us you want to talk to, feel free to shoot us an email or give us a Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.